So mo moving on then, Dennis. Uh, so the show's more or less complete now. There's nobody else we're adding to it. Uh, not at the moment. Not at the moment. Because and how long is it to go? Five week. Yeah. Yeah. There so, might be another edition yet. Just right. waiting on somebody to come back to me. Right. The 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 new signings we, we spoke about. I know you we said might, they, they, there's every chance that there'd be at least one more on this next show. Yeah. Right. Uh, the new signings that we, you, we spoke about, is that still bubbling, the American kid you're on about, the prospect? Uh, is that still...? They, they, yeah. no, I, every so often I get, I get calls and emails yeah. and, and uh, people from abroad wanting to sign with and quality. Yeah. Either, I've been offered a world champion uh, this week. Yeah. Um, so, it, I'm always getting offered people. Because you've seen what we've done as track yeah. record or what we've done in the past, so to take the kids to an, to the next level. So, sure. so uh, mate, hey, uh, Mick. Yeah, you on your way? You here? Yeah, come to office, yeah. No, right, mate. no, no we're going to go in. We're going in 15 minutes. Oh yeah, well he's nearly here now. Oh he's here, come yeah. on. Uh, we'll just wrap this up now then. Uh, how do you think boxing's going at the moment, Dennis? We're local boxing in the area. And you're only one with TV, aren't you? Right at the moment, there's Frank Warren, Eddie Hearn, and you're the third one with telly. But in this area, nobody else has got telly, have they? They are, but there's some, there's some good kids locally. Yeah. And, and the thing is, box, what boxing does, it attracts people who think they've invented, reinvented the wheel. And they want to do things on their own, and I won't mention names, and if they come and if they could all sit and be 100% straight and, and be honourable mm. then all the local kids would benefit a lot better and get more opportunities and maybe get opportunities at a higher level mm. consistently um, but some people just want all the party to themselves mm. and they want to and they want to like have their own little click and, and uh, and, and to the detriment of some fighters. And you know, it's like when I've had me four lives with Frank Warren or whatever, I still put kids on his show if I thought, well, it's to benefit of the kid. And uh, some people aren't willing to do that. Yeah. And, and, it's, and it's a shame, but you know, you don't have to love everybody that you do business with, you know. But all you have to try and do is be honorable. And do that's you, where this, this business yeah. falls down. Do you do you think that uh, when you having TV, you, you've always had TV, haven't you? Since I've known you, you've had it. I've known you five years, you've had Spike and now you've had this. You've always had TV. You always had TV before I knew you, didn't you? Not quite TV because it's just having, I've got access to get on a platform. Yeah, that's what I meant, yeah. And, yeah. Access uh, to get on a platform. It's, but it's not ideal because we want to be, we want to be putting some, you know, you get kids to a level then you want to be getting involved in hopefully you, you want to generate and get up to the point where you're getting pay-per-view fighters but there's too many pay-per-view yeah. fighters now yeah. so I don't necessarily agree with the pay-per-view I think if you can get on a channel where you can get generate funds to pay the kids what they deserve then if they, if you get them to pay-per-view level then you know they've hit the jackpot mm. um, so it's, it's a balancing act now all I try and do is get kids as much exposure as possible on TV platforms um, <clears throat> to get them up to that level and get him towards towards world titles. Hopefully, then then if we have to do a co-promotion with somebody else who's got a bigger platform, then that's, that's what we have to do. How do you think, for example, if Josh? Well, I'll come just come straight out of it. There's been talk on social media that Josh Whale. Is yeah. out of order for calling out Josh Warrington. Why is that? I don't know. I don't get that one, do you? Well, Junior was used to call uh, at and out, didn't Atten he? Out. And you know what about when you know Cal Thompson for David A. People said, oh, he shouldn't be fighting David A. Run defeats his big punch. He shouldn't be fighting him with about forty years old. But what Cal Thompson did to David A. Uh, when Matthew Atten fought to Canelo. People were saying, hold on a minute, why is he fighting Canelo? He went two rounds, he went distant, he went the distance. So, you know, I mean, look, there's a bit of Rocky and uh, Bill Bow and uh, Apollo Creed in it. But Josh will never be in a bad fight, Josh Josh Whale. Uh, Josh Warrington won't go, will he? No, so, you know, if I thought it was just going to be an absolute walkover, look, he's the underdog. But 
for people to say ah, you should be calling them out why shouldn't I I've, I've, I've had world champions before I've done stuff where people have gone through the career and never had world champions I've got people world title fights and won world titles who people so have never bothered and, and never win a European or, a, or a British world, so yeah. like I've helped get kids there so or, so just to tell me I shouldn't call anybody out that's a bit uh, it's a bit silly to be honest yeah I think so yeah but well, people don't understand what goes on behind the scenes. In my opinion, right, Josh Whale could quite easily be 38 and 5 his career. You know, we, we, we Did you think Andy Ruiz shouldn't have fought Joshua at first time? I said he shouldn't have been with me, Well, I did. Yeah. So, like, you know, he, the people, there's always going to be opinions. So, and we all know what happened. So, who knows, boxing, you know, if, if somebody's up for it, it's like FA Cup. The old yeah. FA Cup when it were at its height, you know, some of the, there's been upsets. Yeah. There's non-league. You remember when Ronnie Ratford scored that great goal against Newcastle? So he's on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and so like, there's always going to be... The magic of the cup, it's in that video, isn't it? Ronnie, it's on a rate bad pitch as well, you know, yeah, rate shocking. boggy like Denenby's. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How are you playing them pitches, Dennis? <laughs> you just have to walk on water. Now, look what they're playing on now. Maybe a little million dollars, don't oh, you? Know? If I, I would be for my time, plus I'll be You had your boots. I've still got them night ones I got you. I've got them night ones. side ones. Yeah, but I've got, <laughs> uh, I used to play my Puma Kings, man. I used to love my Puma Kings. Dog Leach. No, Puma Dog Leach do I want they? Puma King. No, I have Puma King, me. They were my favourite. Like Maradona? Leech. Yeah, Maradona. Yeah, we wish. What a player he was. But, if it's possible and it can be made down the line later on this year and Josh keeps winning and Warrington does, yeah. would you take that fight if you could get him in position with Josh yeah. Whale and Warrington? Of course you would, wouldn't you? I'm not big... being biased, but I think Josh Whale has got a good chance against him. It's in the... the uh, it's a great ticket, ticket seller. Well, they're, both far, they? they're both great ticket sellers. It's a local derby. Josh has been unlucky, he's still rated number three in Europe. Uh, Josh Whale. Josh Whale, sorry. Yeah. And uh, as a super bantam, and he stepped up to featherweight, and why shouldn't he? Your next step from being, you know, European, he lost on a split decision away from home for a European title. So, what's the next step after European? Yeah. So, yeah, he's had a checkered record, he lost a few, you know, fights where he shouldn't have lost earlier on in his career but he fought away from home a lot of times he lost to Stuart Hall in Darlington uh, on points for a Commonwealth two fights later Stuart Hall's fighting for world title winning the world title and it was two fights later so like that could have been Josh yeah so which if so if you had said Stuart Hall versus Josh Warrington what people have said they have said uh, credible yeah yeah two IBF champions yeah yeah. So, and Josh fought Stuart Hall just before he had to have a cartilage ap operation on his knee. Yeah. And and only lost on points. So, you know, but, but for somebody to say now, we shouldn't be fine, don't be afraid of that. Yeah, yeah, it's done me head in that this week. So, yeah, you know, I do your head in because Sending me abuse about that. Josh Whale doesn't harm anybody, he's a good kid. He is good. Trains hard, and he deserves his chances. He's had a lot of bad decisions against him. I'm not saying he's A side against Josh Warrington, I'm not saying he's favourite because he's in. But he's A side with us now and he'll get his opportunity if we can get him at Warrington. Yep. Yep. And Great kid to work with. His Great dad's kids. a proper Brilliant fella. Brilliant people. He's just proper, decent people. And uh, if I can get him up. There's no contracts with these people that are coming here now. There's none of that. It's just one of them. Mick's phone will be ringing. Yeah, I've got a contract. <laughs> Can get you a better deal than Dennis. <laughs> I think Mick's a bit too far down the road for all that. Yeah, he's he is. Proper. Word of Oak, innit? He's proper, proper, he's, proper old he's word, word. mate. Proper. Well, I just think that he deserves his chance. And if, like I said, if he wins his, this next one, that's 4 and 0 in under a year. Yeah. And then we move on, don't we? Yeah. He keeps making him. We'll keep beating drum, see what comes up. But, er. Uh, how do you think that uh, the heavyweight division is more mixing up at the moment, Dennis? What do you think about that? Yeah, which is, it's that vast now, the heavyweight division. Well, uh, you've got Tyson against Wilder. Uh, looking, looking straight down the lens of that and all they've seen is your blackheads on your nose. 